anus flare. Anus. Come over here, anus. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. I'm Steven Steph and we are in episode 13, the lucky 13. We are in the Blaine County Sheriff Crown Vic today, a beautiful vehicle as you can see. This will probably be the last episode with this Blaine County Sheriff vehicles. Uh, probably going to mix it up in the next episode. We are unit 207. We're doing a patrol of the Blaine County area today so we're going to do some call outs as well as some traffic stops in our downtime the normal so let's go ahead and get started all right we got a uh, pickup truck here he was all over the place i'm going to go ahead and pull him over he looks to maybe be intoxicated, so we're going to see what his deal is. This is Unit 207. We are in pursuit of a uh, gray pickup truck here. Uh, looks to be impaired. I'm going to go ahead and get a plate check on this vehicle. Dispatch 207. I need a plate check on a... Sadler, license plate 48 Paul, Paul Leonard 104, please. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull him over. There's no, uh, no 1099 involved, but uh, he just was swerving all over the road. Looked like, uh, looked like he's impaired, so we're going to go ahead and see what's up with him. Let's see if I can get him over to the side of the road here. All right, dispatch is 207. We are going to be in a traffic stop with that vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and get out and see what, what's up with them. I'm going to go to the passenger side here. How's it going, sir? The reason I pulled you over is... Uh, you cut that corner very, very sharply uh, right there when I was there, and you were, it looked like you were swerving. Can, uh, have you had anything to drink today? I want my lawyer. Okay, that's a fair statement. Can I get your identification for you? All right. All right, Mr. Sison, just sit tight. I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, so he said he wants his lawyer. And um, that's that's perfectly okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, look up Mr. Sison in the computer here. His Sadler license is expired on it. Okay, so he is gonna be getting a citation for that, and uh, his license is expired as well. So he's driving on an expired license. So that's not good for him. All right, Mr. Sison, here's your ID back. Uh, the computer says that you are driving on an expired license, so that is illegal. I am going to issue you a citation today uh, for driving on an expired license. You need to get that fixed immediately, so get to the DMV and um, make sure to renew your license and I'm not I'm not actually gonna give you a breathalyzer or anything today um, I think you just might have been texting or something I, I have no reason to believe that you are intoxicated so uh, the fine is two hundred and fifty dollars two points on your license and uh, I'm gonna get you a ticket you need to get that renewed as soon as possible all right All right, so I'm going to write you the ticket. At the bottom, you'll see a line I need you to sign there. And also uh, that you agree to come to court and all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, there's a number to call. And uh, make sure to visit the DMV and get that, get that license taken care of. All right? Have a good day, sir. Okay, so no big deal. 
no big deal for him. Um, I don't know what these people behind me are doing. I'm going to get out of the way here for them. <clears throat> so we wound up giving him a citation just because um, he was expired. So he needs to get that renewed. And we have our first traffic stop of the day out of the way. And we will be back 10-8. Wow, we have an attack police station in Sandy Shores. We're going to definitely respond to that code 3. Shots fired, multiple units are down. So this is going to be a very dangerous call. We're going to get there as quickly as we can. Dispatches Unit 207, we're responding to that call in route. This could be uh, very dangerous. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure to get my bulletproof vest, carbine, rifle. All that stuff, so... A Mexican gang is attacking the police station. Okay, wow. Let me get my uh Let me get my carbine rifle out, bulletproof vest. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, whoever we need to talk to here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move in with the SWAT team. Never mind. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, multiple shots fired. Get down, get down, get down. Jesus Christ, multiple shots fired. Goodness gracious. Alright, we got multiple suspects down here. Multiple suspects. We got SWAT in, involved. Oh god. Alright, we got multiple suspects down. Multiple suspects down. Alright, he's still in there. He's still in there. Suspects down. Suspects down. We got a new clip. Alright, we got him. Alright, all, right, all suspects down. Suspects are down. Suspects down. We're going in to clear. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go in with the uh, SWAT team. Goodness gracious. Look at all these casualties. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Let's see if we can go in this door here. No. Okay. Whew. Well, we saved the police station, I believe, so that is good. And uh looks like this this is gonna be code four. What a mess this was. Mexican gun swats out there. All right. What a crazy day. I'm not sure if this guy's going to make it. But we'll be back uh 10 8 after that. Wow. Attention unit 1 Lincoln 18. Citizens reporting a DUI in Sandy Shores. All right, we have a driver under the influence uh in Sandy Shores here. I'm going to go ahead and answer this as uh, the police station is still on lockdown for the rest of the evening until they get those bodies out of uh, out of the police station we can get back to service dispatch this is unit 207 we are en route to that driver under the influence looks like it is going to be this uh, emperor here 
Not sure where he's going. He's just sitting in the intersection. So I'm going to check up and see what his deal is. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull behind him. Units reporting a criminal resisting arrest in Sandy Shores. Um, okay. This guy's not resisting arrest, so we're just going to come up and see what uh, his deal is here. All right, out of the car. Out of the car. All the way to all the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. You're fine. All the way to the ground. Stay there. Hands where I can see him. Hands where I can see him. You're just being detained. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained right now. Anus flare. Anus. Come over here, anus. <laughs> you got anything illegal on you? Any weapons, guns, drugs, knives, anything like that? Alright, let's see. Nope, nothing. Okay. All right, Anus, I'm going to give you a breathalyzer. I need you to, uh... All right, he's negative. Shift O. Um, let's see if you've been drinking tonight. Okay. You are impaired. All right, come here, Anus. <laughs> anus. Oh, what a... What a name. All right, so Anus is uh, going to jail tonight for driving under the influence. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do a do a uh, transport for Anus. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest in uh, I'm going to search his vehicle as well. Found an air freshener. Okay. Anus flare. A shotgun. So that's not good. And let's see what's in the trunk. Photo, okay. All right, so Anus is going to jail for driving under the influence, and we will be code four on that call, and we will be back 10-8 as he goes to jail. We're going to tow his emperor, and we'll be back on patrol. We have a robbery in Grande Sonora Desert. Or we have a robbery in Grande Sonora Desert, so we're going to check that out. Unit, this is 207. We are in pursuit. We are en route to that call. I'm going to go ahead and respond code 2 to that. And we're going to have to haul some ass to get over there. What a crazy night this has been. Our police station's been attacked. Got a DUI. Gave out an expired license citation so far. Pretty eventful shift. And sometimes I've noticed, I've, sometimes you have eventful shifts and sometimes you don't, which is pretty accurate to a real police officer. So, can't really complain. All right, we're almost there. Oh, we just did a shoplifting call at this store in the last episode. Uh, dispatch Unit 207, we are on the scene. Uh, we are right outside of the store. I could see the, uh, the robber right now. I'm going to request uh, some backup. Units. 
assistance needed in, uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Respond code 3. Blaine County Sheriff, Blaine County Sheriff, you're surrounded. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Alright, he, he didn't drop it. Shots fired, shots fired. Suspect's down. Suspect's down, suspect's down, suspect's down. This is 207. We are, uh... You good? You good? Get down. Stop shooting him. Alright, alright, alright. Get down. Okay. Alright, they're still, they're just shooting him until he's dead. Are you good? You good? Okay. He's good. He's good. I'm gonna see if I can get a statement from him. How's it going, man? Yeah, I know. Crazy, huh? Let's see if we can, uh... See if we can get an EMS in here. Attention all units. We've got an ambulance requested in Grande. Sonora that was a lot of backup. They weren't messing around. So these guys have tried to rob the rob the store. Not a not a very smart decision by them. So I'm going to see if the EMS can save them. If not, we're going to get a coroner in here to get these guys out. But it didn't look like they got to take anything or nothing was stolen. So that's good. Let's see if the EMS can get in here. I don't even know if they can get in here. Alright, there we go. Let's see if they can fix... See if they can save any of these guys. Uh, they were shot quite a bit so I don't anticipate them on being able to save them I see the body. but who knows we'll see there's still hope, there's still hope he says alright alright one of them saved wow Let's see those hands right now. Blaine County Sheriff get down on the ground get down on the ground get down on the ground you're under arrest get down get down oh, oh god stop shooting him get down Hey, get down. Get down on the ground. I don't know what the deal is here. They're just going to shoot him until he's dead. I can't arrest him. I don't think. I'm going to search him. See if he has anything illegal on him. Oh, he's just going to get shot. He's just going to... He keeps getting up. Uh, Alright, we're just going to end this call. We're just gonna go ahead and end the call here. Uh, Alright. We're code 4 on that robbery, and uh, we'll be back 10 8 after that. Alright, I got a speeder here. Looks like this white vehicle right here. They're definitely speeding, so we're gonna we're gonna get them. Dispatch to 207, we have a uh, white sedan. Um, it's, a, it's a felon. Uh, we're on Grand Sonora Highway. That'll do right there. Let me get a plate check on this vehicle. Dispatch, I need a plate check. 29... XCL290, please. Amber Backman. Okay. Alright, no 1099. We're going to go ahead and say hello to Amber, see what her deal is. How's it going, sir? The reason I stopped you is you were speeding back there. Um, I had to do at least 70 to catch you. The speed limit is 60. You have your license on you. All right, Inwell Holly. All right, Inwell, I need you to sit tight. I'll be right back with you, okay? 
All right, so we're gonna check out Inwell's Inwell's uh, record here. He does not own the vehicle, so we're just gonna make sure that uh, this vehicle is checks out okay. It's a felon. Everything looks good. License is valid. No active warrants. Inwell is uh, three. He's valid. No active warrants. Fifty-one years old. Okay. Not sure. I'm going to question him, see if he's been drinking, uh, anything like that. Here you go, sir. Here's your ID back. Um, you are not registered as the owner, so do you know an Amber Backman? Okay, she's your girlfriend. All right, that's fine. Um, have you been drinking tonight by, by chance? No. Okay. All right. Do you have anything illegal in the vehicle? Depends, I guess. Okay, all right. Well, here's the deal. Um, you are speeding, so I'm gonna give you a uh, citation for speeding. It's gonna be uh, $80 and two points on your license. So I'm gonna go ahead and write you a ticket. I need you to slow her down, all right? There's no reason to be going that, that speed, especially this late at night. Very dangerous. And everything's on the ticket at the bottom. I need you to sign at the bottom saying you'll show up in court. And uh, it's a summons. And you know the deal. Call that phone number if you have any questions at all. All right, have a good night. Slow it down for me, all right? Okay, so we come straight off of a robbery call and caught uh, that that vehicle speeding. So um, gave them a ticket, and we'll be back 10-8. All right, we have suspicious activity in San Chiansky Mountain Range. Suspect is a female, so we are going to respond to that. We are code two. I'm going to check that out. It's up here to the right. Dispatch is 207. We're in route responding to that call. All right, looks like she's going to be up here straight ahead. It's a female. Okay, she's in the middle of the road. Let's see what her deal is here. Hey, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. What's going on? Hey, stop running. I'm going to taser. Ma'am, stop running. Stop running. Hey, stop. Reach for the sky, buddy. Stop. All the way to the ground. 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 Hands where I can see them. All the way to the ground. Stay there. All the way. All the way down. Hands where I can see them. Hands where I can see them. Dispatch 207. We have that suspect detained. Riley Walkers. Riley, why are you walking around? Uh, you, ha you have anything illegal on you? Any weapons, guns, knives, drugs? You're just being detained right now. I don't have any. I don't. Okay, wire cutters. Okay. Um, I don't really have anything against her. If she has a clean record, I'm gonna let her go. Um, she did wasn't doing anything wrong. License is valid. No active warrants. All right, Riley. Here's the deal. Um, we had a report that uh, you were being suspicious, but I don't. You have nothing illegal on you. You have a clean record, so there's really not much I can do. So, I'm... All right, so here's the deal, Riley. You didn't do anything wrong, so there's really nothing I can do. I'm going to go ahead and release you, okay? But I need you to make sure to get out of this area. Stop walking around. Stop being weird. Stop being suspicious. I'll teach you some respect. If I can... Citizens report a possible right. disturbance. In All right, we have an officer requiring assistance. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. 
Alright, so we're on the scene. Unit 207, this is, uh, dispatch, this is 207. We're in route. We're on the scene. Ooh, we got a uh, damaged police car, looks like. Okay, so they got a damaged police car. So we're going to go ahead and uh, call a tow truck for that vehicle. Yep, let's tow it. Get it to the shop. And take these guys back to the station. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take them back to the station. Dispatch is 207. We have uh, picked up both those disabled officers. Uh, they had a uh, vehicle disabled, and we're bringing it back to the shop now. We're bringing those two officers back to the station to get another vehicle. Let's go ahead and go this way. And this will end our episode. What a shift. What a crazy shift. Alright, so the station is still on lockdown. We made it back to the station. We're going to try to get in here to get these guys back to the station. So we'll get them back in. And that'll do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is pro this will be the last episode of the Blaine County Sheriff vehicles. We're gonna try some other vehicles, but a really cool uh, vehicle, the Crown Vic, as well as the Tahoe and the Impala and the Challenger. A lot of fun doing those episodes, and a really interesting episode today. A lot of action uh, for episode 13. But I wish I could do more LSPDFR episodes. I just don't really have the time. Been playing a lot of Madden. And hopefully can still do one LSPDFR episode a weekend. So this is episode 13. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, like and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you later.